Hi my favorites, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is Favorite Fashion House and in today's video we're going to be learning how to cut and sew this easy simple front drawstring dress with a v-neck line. It is a very simple and easy tutorial as usual. Okay, and the name of the fabric I use is a vintage crepe. I use about two and a half years of fabric. If this is the first time coming across my channel, you are highly welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And if you're also a returning subscriber, God bless you. I really appreciate all your support towards my channel. And if you're a new subscriber, you are highly, highly, highly welcome to the family. Please, guys, do not forget to like, share, and comment. Okay? So let's get straight into the video. Like I said earlier, what I use is a crepe fabric and I use about 2.5 years of fabric. Okay, I'm going to be cutting the front first, but I'm supposed to cut the back. So I can use the back to cut the front, but it doesn't really matter. So I fold my fabric into two and I measure 1.5 inches inward. This is where I'm going to be joining together and fold so I can create my drawstring where I'm going to input my rope. Okay. So the next thing I did after that was to I measure from my shoulder to my bust, from my shoulder to my waist, and from my shoulder to my hip, and also from my shoulder to the length of the dress. The length of the dress I'm using is about 48 inches that's the length i'm using okay so if you want your your own more longer any length you want you can just adjust it so after that i'm going to be connecting the lines together so for my from my neck width the neck width that i use is three inches and the neck depth that i use is seven inches that is what i use for the v neck depth Another thing we need to do right now is to get the length of our, you know, this is a cut together sleeve. So how to get your cut together sleeve is either you measure from your back neck bone to the length you want your sleeve to get to, or you measure whatever your shoulder measurement is, you divide it by two, then you add the length of your sleeve. Okay, that's another way to get your cut together sleeve. So from the length, from the length of my cut together sleeve where my sleeve is going to get so i came down by two inches for my shoulder slope okay that is what i did i came down by two inches for my shoulder slope and i connect that line together in a slant way so now i measure my bust measurement divided by four i added extra 3.5 inches allowance if you want yours to be more wider you can add about four inches or five inches allowance okay so for my sleeve opening i use 10 inches for my sleeve opening then i curve it i connect it to the line okay this is where the boss is coming from i'm going to indicate it right now where the boss measurement is but you can see how i curved it all right because i want it to be very curvy and okay so i'm going to connect the line down so for i'll measure what i have on my hip line i'm going to put the same thing on the length of my dress i'm going to be cutting it out first we'll be cutting the back i call the back the back neck depth which is one inches for the neck depth and i fold in our channel our um drawstring channel i fold it in the way you can see me indicating this video and i fold another fabric into it so i can cut out the back piece next i'm going to be doing now is to cut out the front neck depth what i need for the front neck depth is seven inches i'm going to cut it out after slitting this line into two i'm going to notch it so i will know where i'm going to be stitching from i'm going to be joining together i hope you understand So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be joining the two front together on the center. Okay, that line where I notched, I'm going to be joining it together on the center. I 
I fold it in and also cut that this is my front facing and this is the the rope that I use, the drawstring that I'm going to be using. I use about 50 inches for the drawstring. That is what I have right here. Okay. And this is the fold. You can see the way I stitch it together. This is how it's looking at the back. So I'm going to be using my pin right now to pass this drawstring inside. But before you fold your drawstring channel, you have to make sure that you already fold the front. Um, you already fold the hemming side for the front. You already hem it down, okay, before you fold your drawstring. So if you have any part you did not understand, guys, please let me know in the comment section, okay? So after doing that, this is how it is looking. It is all coming together. Right now, I'm going to be stitching it this way. The one indicated, I'm going to stitch it together so it can move. And I'll use my facing to stitch it to turn it to the right side. I'm going to be joining my facing, my front facing together. I'll stitch it together, turn it, top stitch it, and I'll use my hemming gum to hem it down. So after I do that, I already done the back part. You can see right there. I already used my facing to turn the back. So I'm going to be joining the back and the front on the shoulder together. I'm also going to be joining it on the side with one inch allowance. And I will hem the sleeve. I will fold the sleeve and I will hem the damn parts. Okay, like I said in the beginning of this video, this video is a very easy and simple tutorial okay it's very easy and it's so so beginner friendly this is something you can make under 30 minutes now doing that this is how it is looking i'm done folding the arm the armhole side the sleeve side i also went ahead to join it with one inch allowance i hem the damp parts and the, the only thing remaining right now is for me to gum it together with the facing with the gum the facing together with the fabric with my hemming gum after doing that this is the final look of our dress it is looking so beautiful so guys this is the end of our tutorial if you have any question if you enjoy this tutorial please do not forget to give me a thumbs up like my video share comment and subscribe thank you guys for watching god bless you all bye